Welcome to the story where a little furble with some big balls got so big where he became the final boss in a League of Legends game. But his team did everything possible to make sure he didn't get a W. It all started with a patient early game because Zig sucks early and going balls deep might be something that sounds interesting, I actually don't like it that much. So patiently chilling with Big Volcano Man, who stole some CS because Fire Dude has no patience. Anywho, while being patient to get as big as possible I am near perfect on all my cues, to make sure they feel my pressure. But Brand felt the need to go all in on this redhead just to make sure I do not have to share the EXP later on, what a lad. Quite some time later, my premature mid laner finally got some time for her little furble to gank the shit out of this purple cow on steroids. And in classic Ziggs fashion contributing nothing more than an R on a sleeping bull and a few Qs, Ziggs walked away with a classic one kill and enough gold to buy me some fun things. But before I buy some items that will definitely help me, let's mindlessly chase this BDSM dude, with a great sleepy bubble by Space Girl, Volcano Man definitely needed to flash to get the kill, oh never mind. While I'm just enjoying a little stroll back to bot lane, this malnourished pirate woman, decides she can overextend while being underleveled and underskilled. So after a few cues and a completely calculated R, she challenged me head on with a bee's dick of health left. Shortly after, I am minding my own business and this ice ball girl starts coming out of nowhere, and as a total boss I flashed away. My brand stuns her and I see an opening to hit her hard, but again in typical Ziggs fashion, it freaking bounces over her big head. So I walked away feeling very ashamed. Then a very weird and useless fight broke out in the top river so I decided to throw some ice balls and an even bigger ice ball on their head to cool them off and maybe they learned their lesson now. A massive big dick contest started in the top lane and I wanted to participate very much indeed. A few cues and they should know that this will end badly for them. A big R later and I started to go complete master class league player mode. With a perfect combination of cues. and the most useless satchel I have ever seen. I am sorry Tima. The classic dragon fuck up skirmish starts and due to the fact that I value my life I decided to only throw some shit at the wall and hope something sticks. Time to dip and as usual, the let's fight for Baron skerfuffle starts, and as the little bitch I am, hiding and throwing cues is the only solution I see. But the misfortune with misplaced self-confidence decided to chase after me and my yurtle homie, so I sent him back to base with a little cue ball. But because this game is toxic, the chainman who can was hiding for me in the bush so I just left him a little present and gave him the same outcome as me. We meet up for our daily depression moment to try to challenge Drake with no tank at all. So throwing icy balls is the only way I can contribute. We lose Drake naturally but I still add to my death list with some decent cues. And with perfect timing, MF thinks she can challenge me so I gave her the make room kaboom combo just to not hit the last cue and give Lee Sin a kill. They still like the fight so while I am getting some CS I throw one little cue in to make sure Silas can go back to his sex dungeon. Quick announcement. Always wanted to get stuck in ranked games and fuck up important plays? Don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will show you the way. Back to this mess of a game. To be a valuable part of this society I give everything I have to save this young girl from getting attacked by a predator. And we straight on start to fully Aram, because that is always the solution. Nunu is very hungry I suppose because she ate all the balls I threw at her. And to fulfill her completely I topped it off with the ball supreme. Silas like the total chad he is, start backing in the safest place on the map, so me and my buddies send him back a little faster. Back in the top lane, this fat croc got job aided so hard that he regrets his decision very quickly, only to see Lee Sin's foot shoved up his ass. But again, the enemy team has more tanks and we are scared shitless to contest Drake so we lose it without gaining anything, oh wait I just delivered another high skilled big ball on the misfortune's chin. But despite the enemy team having all dragons, 
They cannot win a normal team fight and they let me throw balls at them without question. So I dropped a big juicy one in the middle of the team doing more damage than a coked up kangaroo. The little chain dude decided to steal my ult and that made me the opposite of content. As a reply to this misbehavior, I send him back to the depths of hell where he belongs, despite his best efforts. At this moment Ziggs is the strongest on the map and I should try to end this quickly. So pushing up the mid lane we encounter Silas who turned into a complete NPC and walks right past us. I never felt so disrespected, scared, and also confused. I got in a little predicament and got snowballed in the face. But a little stopwatch big ball combo and I got out of there with a kill. To keep our team identity intact we challenge for Drake once again and this time we did what we needed to do. With we, I mean me, smacking them with my balls until they couldn't take it no more. Surely we got this game in the bag, but Gatorface decides to 1v1 me but even though I was doomed I still took him with me. And while three of them are dead and we could just run mid and try to end, we go for Baron. But you guessed it, they stole it and we are once again in shambles. And of course, it is time to air him and at this point, I couldn't care less. My balls were ready for whatever. The Renekton tries to jump at me but gave up way too early. With his misplaced judgment I sent him back to the sewers in Zig's fashion. For the first time in the whole game MF sent me back to base and I expect nothing less than a big fat L. But these two teams have an understanding and a will to break the record for the longest game ever recorded. Straight back to Aram. I run as fast as I can with these little zigs legs to contribute just to arrive late and send MF and Purple Bull to the graveyard. The whole team is wiped and I couldn't believe it, this is going to end. Never was I happier to play against a doofus team but also very disappointed with the complete fuckery of my team. Ziggs did what he could and it worked out. Balls in hand and balls to the chin. Ziggs always goes for the win.